I will not be complicit in the illicit use of ill-gotten booty. <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome to another movie night. I'm Jackie, and today we are watching Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Now, I have to admit, I personally do not play D&D. That being said, I'm pretty sure everyone around me does. My brother does, several of my friends do. So there are probably some things in this movie that might be familiar to me just from all the things I've overheard and sort of absorbed from the people around me. But that being said, I don't play D&D myself. So I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about this movie, about it as an adaptation from the game. Do you feel like it was a good translation? But I also know that as D&D has gotten more popular over the last however many years, this movie is definitely a culmination of that and an opportunity to open up to bigger audiences. For example, someone like me who is aware of D&D but doesn't really play it. So I'm really curious to see this movie and maybe get a better feel for what the hype is about. I don't even know that I've seen a proper trailer for this. I knew I wanted to do it for YouTube, so I kind of wanted to go in as blind as I possibly could. But I do know that Chris Pine is in this. I think Reggae Jean Page and Michelle Rodriguez, I believe, is in this. I think I saw those casting announcements. So again, I'm curious. I'm excited. I'm really, really curious to see what this movie is. And again, to hear all your guys' thoughts about how it worked as a translation and see if it has the effect that I'm sure they wanted of opening up to a broader audience. So we will see. So I think that's about enough disclaimering from me. I think we should get into the movie. But as always, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment. Tell me all of your thoughts about D&D, the game, and the movie. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Redder is better, so hit what may or may not be a big red subscribe button, depending on your browser. And check me out on Patreon for the full-length version of this reaction, as well as all of my other content, and Twitter and Instagram for other ways to follow. On that note, let's get into the movie. Ooh. I was gonna say that's cool, but that's cold. Yes, there will be many punny jokes. I went to silence my phone before this, and I realized I was putting it in D&D &D mode. Slightly different D&D, &D, but you know, two punny jokes before the movies even started. Had to do it. <laughs> oh! Oh, so this is... this is a Siberian prison. Got it! Wow. Well, it's shot really well already. Oh, oh, hello, Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez. This is the bucket where our pee freezes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Never shared one with a female. Oh dear. Think I'm gonna like it? No, you're not. Holga doesn't love to be disturbed while she's eating her potatoes. Shut up, you. <laughs> sure thing. Your funeral. Setting aside the potato. Oh! Oh! I think I'm gonna do this without fingers and make it a mitten. <laughs> Just another day. I can already see why the casting decisions were made for these two. I'll tell you, Olga, this is your last day chopping ice. I'm gonna bet that they don't get freed, but they escape anyway. I should start by giving you some context. Ooh. Years ago, I became a member of the Harper's faction. Defend the oppressed and to ask nothing in return. Very Robin Hood. Stop bandits in their tracks. <laughs> and even bring Fae and Red Wizards to justice. Hmm, temptation. You don't have to give us everything. You only have to give us you. So what's latest on Jonathan? Aww. Is he close by? Because I can wait. Was that a subjective storytelling break there? Ha! <laughs> this is fun! And sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. Ooh, sh whoa, shaky cam. Whoa, shaky cam. Upside down cam. Aww! Yep, those kinds of shots tell you something bad is about to happen. Aww! No cleric can repair the damage from a red wizard's blade. Oh, the exposition. <laughs> yeah. Tragic backstory, check. Exposition, check. Hard to relive this without Jonathan here. Oh my god! Where was I? 
I come home to my loving wife and daughter, Kira. You went back too far. Stop stalling. Too far. Right. Yep, yep. Oh, this movie definitely exists post-Deadpool. Holga was a fellow resident of Rock Bottom. <laughs> it was a fun script so far. We never harmed anyone, and we only robbed from those who would feel it the least. Very Robin Hood. Yep. And robbing Corn's Keep. That's a Harper stronghold. I, I don't know if you've heard of it, I'm sure. Jonathan. I haven't. <laughs> Jonathan has. Jonathan has? <laughs> Tablet of reawakening, capable of bringing <laughs> back a single deceased person. Uh, his wife. You can probably see where this is going. Yep. But this is the, the last one. Famous last words. Trust me. Mm, never trust a person who says, trust me. We'll be right back. And someone who says, we'll be right back. I didn't tell her about the tablet. It would break her heart if it all went to shit. And uh, well, to shit it went. Mm. I like the fun, sort of snarky feel to this. It brings a lot of charm. We don't hurt anyone. I don't think she has the same rules as you, Boo Boo. Take the tablet. Keep Kira safe. Oh, that sucks. You have my word. Do we trust that word? They definitely had a hell of a budget on this. Wow. <gasps> we approved your pardon. Should have just waited. Okay, I was half right. I said they wouldn't get released, but they would escape anyway. They were technically gonna get released, but they escaped anyway. Oh my God, are they just gonna abandon? Oh my God. Honor among thieves. Yep. Ah, uh, very Lord of the Rings using the map here. This is fun so far. This has been a fun introduction. They gave some good exposition. We've gotten a tragic backstory. It's a very fun, snarky script so far. Son of a bitch. Forge is Lord of Neverwinter. Wait, what? They are dropping so many names and locations. <laughs> oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, we are getting a lot of names, places, locations, visuals very, very quickly to establish this universe, to establish this world. Must be coming in for the high sun games. One contestant made it to the final round before a monster ate his upper bodies, so. <laughs> ah, nice smooth way to give context, mention it, and then mention what happened, so we now know that it's some sort of gladiatorial fight in front of what looks like a coliseum. Kira. Aww. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! That's uncomfortable. Uncle Forge has been very good to me. Uncle. Okay. A lot changed while you were away. Why do you look mad at me? Because you're acting like it wasn't your fault. Ooh. I know you don't like hugs. But I need one. Yes. Charming. I get sinister vibes. What did this man do to get all of this? Something tells me something unsavory? So when Lord Neverember fell ill, I seized the chance to try and- Fell ill? Couldn't have done it alone. Uh -uh. <laughs> and here she is. Mm-hmm, there we go. My top advisor. Yep, sounds about right. The tea is scorching, I do apologize. It's scorching hot. Tea is truth. Truth. What's the tea? What's the truth, girl? I'm gonna leave that for later. Of course, that's why you came back. It was for that tablet of riches. Riches? No. It... Oh, she doesn't know. I was doing it for mom, for all of us. You have to trust me. Mm. You told me to trust you. said that last time. Yep. Yep. There's that line coming back. She's had years to resent you for your absence. That you have fed into. Powerful wizard! You'd have thought that you'd have learned that the last time she trapped you. On purpose. Yep, on purpose. To have another person allow you to, to shape them in your own image, it's a bit like a god. Hmm. Tell us something about his psyche. 
expecting two of the wealthiest men to talk about the high sum games, which are back. Hmm. Something tells me these games that we've now mentioned twice are going to come into play here. I recognize this actress. What do I know her from? That's going to bug me so much. What do you clean it with? <laughs> you're about to lose your head. This is what you're concerned with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, chop it off. Chop it off. Let's do it. <laughs> A brick! <laughs> oh my god. This is solid choreography. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're being so much help. There we go. Before we leave the city. Get boiled linseed oil. I know. Yep. <laughs> Such a great team. Hey, we respect someone who cares for their weapons. Why did he lie about the tablet? You want to get your hopes up. Well, he's gone, my dear. He's gone. I gave him the tablet of riches. And... <gasps> you sneaky liar! Bad things better happen to this man. Like, really funny bad things. We have nothing to pay them with. He said the richest people were coming to bet on the High Sun Games. Mm hmm Yep. High Sun Games. And Kira will know this. We abandoned her for the right reason. <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that, but... Uh, no. Yeah. For the spirit of it, yeah. I haven't seen him in two years. I'm sure he's gotten better. You sure about that? He hasn't gotten better. Nope. <laughs> oh, man! That wasn't a shield spell. That was... Inverted gravity? Oh my goodness! Simon? Oh god! Nice! For an encore? Give me out okay. Definitely the star of a quest. You know this rumor she made Lord Never Ever fall ill to clear the way for Forge? Called it! Yeah, you can hit her with that fresh cut grass trick. <laughs> You're gonna sneak past the entire castle walk? No. <laughs> a druid, maybe, a wild shape. They can get mm, in and out yep. and detect it as a mouse. Exposition. I am familiar with the term druid. I've heard that before. There are a couple of these that I'm like, okay, I've heard it, but I don't know what it means. This is a lot of world building really quickly. She, however, found my lack of self-esteem unattractive. Aww. <laughs> Your dork's a bit of a radical. Uh, no, that's not dork. Uh. <gasps> Shapeshifter? Ooh! That's a cool trick. That's a... <laughs> Woo! Hedwig took some steroids. Simon! Simon who? <gasps> she didn't remember you. You said I made you feel sad. Not from anything I did, just from who I was. <gasps> Awkward. We're gonna take down Forge Fitzwilliam. Say no more. As you can imagine, I don't trust humans. Mm -hmm. I find you to be hateful and selfish. Not wrong. No, Simon, he's a mighty sorcerer. Huh. Is he gonna have like a big grand moment of, of sorcery in this movie? We dared to question how we came to power, so he declared us enemies. Sounds about right. We're not doing this for the money. Doing this for the people who took me in when no one else would. So we'll keep your share then. <laughs> Honor among thieves. I'd rather be flensed and flayed than spend another hour with Forge Fitzwilliam. That is insufferable. So we're all in agreement here. <laughs> it's Jenya! <laughs> is that Jenya? Yes, I think that's Jenya from Shadow and Bone. Probably best to keep that on. And, of course, you're about to be considerably... Resisting the urge to murder him. As are we all. If the alarm is raised, nobody gets in or out. The alarm will be raised and people will try to get out. Ooh! Ooh, sneaky! A fly. 
It is protected by the arcane seal of Morden Canaan. Hmm. Cool. shot like I have to say this is really really beautifully shot and choreographed and I give this movie lots of credit for this this has been one long take so far and it is beautiful just tracking her has been beautiful oh, turn into something that can fly please this has all been one long shot. I mean, it's obviously all CGI, but one long take following her. This has been really cool. This is still one shot. I mean, obviously it was shot separately and composited together moments like that. They hide cuts and movement like that, but. Okay, it is starting to drag a little bit. Okay, that was a cool long take. I think the, the pacing was a little off. It needed a little bit more up and down. It kind of was just a little flat the entire time, but it was cool. So, ask him with magic. He just made a whole speech how he can't fix everything with magic. Uh, Actually, that is something I can do. <laughs> Are there supposed to be subtitles right now? Am I supposed to have any idea what they're saying? Ah! Plotting murder. Cool. Got it. Context. Look where we are. It's Pacha's village. It looks like Pacha's village from the Emperor's New Groove. I thought your sentence was Whoa, longer. Bradley Cooper. I busted out of there. Did not realize that was Bradley Cooper. How long are you in town for? I'm just passing through. Gonna talk to some corpses south of Nesmith. <laughs> As one does. Does she make you happy? Happier than I did? Oh. You know, when you left, I lost my family. I've been fortunate enough to find another. Hmm. And I wish nothing less than that for you. Oh, that's nice. My sweet old ho ho. Oh! Okay. We're gonna take down Forge. I'm gonna show Marleman and the Elk Tribe they were fools to let me go. <laughs> hey, motivation's motivation, whatever it is. Let's tip the tankard and waste the day. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Do I sense a montage? Yep, travel montage. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I'd always imagined I'd be buried in sacred ground like this. Anyone got a shovel? <laughs> Master of snark and timing. You can ask him five questions, at which point he will die again. <laughs> Why five questions? Seems arbitrary. It does. I, I agree with her. Maybe I'm not saying it right. <laughs> okay. Or was it scared? Nearly startled. <laughs> this is a very snarky movie. Four more questions, right? Yes. Yep. No. <gasps> Three more good. questions. Did that count as a question? Yes. yes! Two more questions! Fantastic. Where's the shovel? <laughs> Take two! Good thing there's a whole graveyard worth of people for you to talk to. And what did Stanhard Grimwolf do with it? Oh, nice transition. Oh! Yeah. Oh, it's not spewing fire, is it? What is it spewing? That's the last thing I remember. <laughs> Do you like cats? <laughs> I'm bad at math. <laughs> it's funny. Then Salafin. We can just make it over the ridge. We can and then boom. Yep. Yep. Not again. <laughs> I just needed to keep the helmet safe. What happens to him? Reggae Jean Page? Does Reggae Jean Page happen to him? 
It was a Thean who bore the mark of Zas Tam. The Duke of Hastings. A kind Thean. I speak truth. You speak horseshit. <laughs> no, I've heard of Zank. Oh. He's a paladin. Paladin. Here we go. Another term. They are doing a good job. I give credit for including exposition without it feeling clunky. That being said, it is an overwhelming amount of information for someone who wouldn't be familiar with the game. If Zank turns out to be a prick, I'll split him right down the middle. <laughs> I believe you. That was only the fourth question. <gasps> Hello? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that poor man. Is he gonna come back later somehow? Several bad puns later. Hello? This poor corpse. Can somebody please ask me another question? <laughs> Anyone? What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> we are, I was about to say we're a long way. We're not actually that far from Shondaland. This look, this is not that far from Shondaland. <laughs> Yep, he's still the Duke. You know, I've pulled cats out of fish. <laughs> Normally it's the other way around. Our reasons for wanting the helmet are entirely noble. Yep, are they? I'm gonna rob some. Holger! <laughs> Fort Fitzwilliam and the Red Wizard of Day he's partnered with. Hmm, that'll do it. Come with me. Yep. Effective name dropping. You may have forsworn your oath, but your oath hasn't forsworn you. Okay. Just because that sentence is symmetrical doesn't make it not nonsense. <laughs> the necromancer Zas Tam was one of eight Zulkirs who ruled the nation of Thay. Great history lesson. I really appreciate Chris Pine jumping in right at the moment when I also agree, wow, this is a lot of exposition. Tam had a plan of his own. Ooh, we know this guy. We're gonna call him Voldemort, because I'm not gonna remember his name. A spell that would consume the souls of all who beheld it. Oh. Enslaving them to his will. That's not cool. Dick, move! The question remains, if they helped him to take power, what do they stand to gain? Good question. I will not be complicit in the illicit use of ill-gotten booty. That was a beautiful way to end that sentence. With ill-gotten booty. Promise you'll give Forge's money to the people. <laughs> In the bowels of the Underdark. The Underdark? The Huda What's It? See, I hear Underdark, I think Legend of Drist. Well, I know Dungeons and Dragons has been around for a really long time, so I'm curious as to like the chicken and egg thing here. Like, did this influence other fantasy? Did other, did other fantasy influence this? Drag your lady love back to her old life. It's to deprive her of her new one. Can someone Ooh. else ride next to this guy? <laughs> Bit of a killjoy. Follow me to the orifice. The orifice? The orifice? <laughs> this is one of the less conspicuous. <gasps> Definitely not conspicuous. I'll go last. <laughs> Should the way become too dim, you may take my hand. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm not taking his hand. <laughs> oh, Chris Pine, you beautiful comic relief. Ooh, a little bit of Pandora in here. The higher the intelligence of the prey, the more likely they are to strike. There's a hell of a way to tell someone they're dumb. Oh my god. The literal intelligence test. Oh my god. Oh, that's a little hurtful. <laughs> yep. He's the quipper. There is a precise formula we must follow. So it must be set up beyond the house's lead. So it three. Or you could destroy it. Not very structurally sound. 
I swiped it from a wizard over in the Great Peaks. It's not a walking stick. A walking stick from a wizard is never just a walking stick. It's a hither thither staff. It's a huda what's it? Hither thither. How convenient. How very convenient. Good save. It is a good save. Yep. For what these characters are, it is well cast. I give it credit. Trusting that you'll protect it with your very life. I will. Mm-hmm. Hold this. <laughs> Every opportunity for snark. Lead them to me. Oh! Sweet! He does have some tricks up his sleeve. Oh, final boss! Final boss! Ooh! It's... Thorin? Was that? No, what, not Thorin. Um, Thoros. Barrett, Barrett, Barrett Dundarian with the flaming sword. To work my way through the franchises. See, all that training for Bridgerton. The boxing, the sword fighting. Wait, do we ever see the Duke sword fight? I don't think we ever saw the Duke sword fight. Ooh. <gasps> Bravo, Simon. I'm sorry, I can't remember his character's name. I'm glad he's on our side. You should be. What do we have here? Dragon? Oh! Hello! What the? Is that what it's supposed to look like or is he just really obese? That's one pudgy dragon. Okay, I'm not crazy. All right. Did he eat the last one? <laughs> oh my goodness, job of the dragon. I definitely do understand how this sort of translated from a tabletop game and something like D&D that I guess it's dice rolling, it's things come up as they come up, side quests, etc. I do see the influence of that. Again, as someone who hasn't played the game, I don't fully understand how it all ties in. Or just the, the direct parallels, I guess, that we're supposed to have here. Oh! No! Nice! <laughs> Fat dragon can't fly. A little anticlimactic? I will say this movie is starting to drag a little bit. It doesn't quite have the ups and downs that you need to keep up the pacing. It feels very just, I don't want to say repetitive. Oh! Hello. Oh! Is this sort of like the, the dice rolling? Like, does it work? Does it work? <laughs> nice. Yeah, this feels like we're sort of alternating between exposition quest, exposition quest, exposition quest, exposition quest. Oh my God, say that five times fast. Like there's a lot of information to give and I get that again, this is translating from a tabletop game. It's feeling a little repetitive though. In those instances where faith wanes and doubt waxes, I recall the tenets of the ancients. It's okay. <laughs> Just walk off into the distance. He's gonna hold on him for an irrationally long time. <laughs> Just wandering off. Yeah. Walks in such a straight line. You gonna go around? Nope. Right over the rock. Yeah. <laughs> He's very literal. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I realize that. So don't put more pressure on him. So entire fate rests on you. <laughs> what? What in the acid trip? What makes you think you're worthy of it? I believe in myself. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> It means you're not worthy yet. I'll try a different approach. Great. You got this. You got this. Yep. You didn't fly as far. I've never seen a bigger coward. What? You're under here too. This is a spider. Like the D, &D equivalent of a spider. Yep. <laughs> yep. Stop trying to capture it. <laughs> Aw, set it free. You just have to let it go. Mmm. 
Those words are gonna come back later. This is exactly what I told you would happen. He said to keep it between us for morale. Ooh. And you knew the whole time that he couldn't use it? Ooh. This is what we do. We pivot. Pivot! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That's the whole point. We must never stop failing because the minute we do, we failed. <laughs> we understand this is the sentiment. You only fail by not trying. You're quick to call us failures. What about you, Ed? Me? I'm the champion of failures. Yeah. I lost everything that ever mattered to me, and it was all my fault. Hmm. We deserved a better life than a Harper's Oath would allow us. But I didn't yeah. know that Red Wizards marked their treasure. Yeah. I didn't even have the good luck to be home when, when they got there. Hmm. He's trying. Give him credit. He's trying. That sucks. Move over. Hmm. <laughs> Honesty among thieves. It's important. Well, it's set too, but there's no more room on the rock. <laughs> so we put the portal on some treasure. Yep. Oh, God, I could kiss you. Try it. Don't. <laughs> oh, my God, they're hiding in the. Oh, my God. That is a lot of. Yep. <laughs> was for. Got it. Adhesive. Ooh, that was cool. Nice little camera work there. <laughs> That'll distract him. Oh my god. Okay, that was clever. That was really clever. Ah, they just had to get it in there. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. They just had to get the painting in there. I get it. Cool. Clever. <gasps> oh, no. Your stone skin spell failed until the arrows were inches away. You flipped the gravity of a whole theater. He needs risk. Adrenaline, fight or flight. Ascending, Ascending stone. stone. Oh! Ye old walkie talkies. They did not waste a budget on this. Like, I give them credit. The production value and the CGI is spectacular. Celebrate lasses. Celebrate Wait. lasses. Celebrate lasses. He's glitch. Oh my god, he's glitching! <laughs> break, 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 break. <laughs> I think they're oh. starting to get suspicious. <laughs> it was going so well. Find the vault. You sure I can't help? I'm certain. Yep. She is a certified badass. Leave it to her. Nice. They do really enjoy the long takes in this movie. Which, if you choreograph well, works. What is this chanting in the background? I'm assuming it's something related to the game, but I'm curious. I don't know what it is. Like, is there music associated with D&D or is this an original, completely original score? Oh! <laughs> that was clever. I give credit, the fight choreography is good. It's actually really impressive. They did not waste their budget on this movie. Aww. I don't mind that. <laughs> so you die a fool, mm. get them to live as one. That's enough. Yeah, come on, have your moment. You had your time. Now it's my turn. I'm yes. I don't care. <gasps> oh, yes. Don't apologize. Don't you dare apologize. Yes. Took you long enough. <laughs> there we go. Yep, he's having his moment. I guess it was just me holding me back. That's yep. what I've been saying! 
I made it inside the vault. So did we. Oh. Yup, yup. Oh! Oh, no! I know you think I'm a, a, a liar and a bad father, but mm. I am a bad father. Mm. Accountability. And I wasn't trying to bring your mom back. I was trying to bring my wife back. Oh. Motiv motivation. His motivation was selfish. Oh no, it's the mage, it's the, the witch. It's the wizard, wizard. Yep. Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy as fork. You'd have to admit I can give Kira a better life. Mm, but no, you're a terrible person. I don't want to see you die. Yes, you do. Which is why I'm gonna put you in the game. I'm gonna leave the room. Oh, oh my god. If you're gonna kill us, at least let us die with dignity. Put us in the High Sun Games. Yep, there we go. They defeated your men and mine. Let them fight in the arena. <laughs> Interesting. So, isn't it a little suspect that Safina would agree to this? Yes, it is. Here we go. All this failure has to lead to success eventually. So we just go through the maze? Oh dear! Yep, yep. Mazes are never that simple. Not in fantasy, anyway. Nice! Ah! Jesus! Okay, they're not all helpful. Not all helpful. Oh my god. Now with the sword! Now with the sword! Now with the sword, please! There we go! I do hope that our collaboration has been as gratifying for you as it Get has. out of my city. <laughs> She's like, I've tolerated you up to this point. No longer. Hey. Oh. <gasps> Did it take the magic bracelet? It took the magic bracelet. That's a good thing though, right? Right? If we survive this, there'll be another challenge and another until yep. every last person in that cage is dead. It's like the Hunger Games. You wanna end up like that guy? We'll only be inside for a few seconds. You sure about that? You better be really sure about that. Oh! And the hits just keep on coming. Yeah, this movie has a really unrelenting pace. What is this? This is an ambush. Hey, Forge, why don't you tell her what this is? Hmm. Oh, how the turntables. What are you doing? It's all right. Shush, my darling. Quiet. It's going down. Yes. Great father holding a knife to his daughter's throat. In the end. Potatoes! <laughs> you beat by a potato? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Slow-mo shot of a potato to the face was not on my bingo card for this movie and I'm not upset about it. Uh-oh. Ah! Sucks to be you! Oh, I did say something funny. I did say something bad but funny. I really wanted something funny and bad to happen to him. Getting beaned in the face with a potato does count. And nothing will ever get in the way of that again. Aww. Yay. <laughs> but we still have a whole other fight that has to happen. There's still a wizard. So, we're gonna need to lay low. Yep. What is that? Yep. Don't count your chickens yet. That's the other shoe. Dropping, oh, in shadows from the sky. Honor among thieves. Gotta go back. Well, shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that promise I made to Zank. Hmm. Look at you. Look at that character growth. That's not good. Um. Darn. Ugh. No. She started with the rich people. There's definitely a sentiment there. What is this? No! <gasps> 
He did say he was going to give the treasure back to the people. <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. God, just so many puns. <laughs> They're all leaving after the treasure. <laughs> Sucks for you. Stay hidden. Use your pendant. She's going to use her pendant and help you out. She's gonna come back at the very last second when you need her. What do you think she's gone? No! Follow the meteors? Oh! Hi, Wanda. Oh, nice! Bird flying away? Bird flying away? Yes! Ha 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 ha! Headwig on steroids. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Ow. Oh. She missed. No! No, she didn't. I mean, that's a cool trick, but only if she's on your side. Ooh. I do appreciate that they're actually showing how crazy powerful she is, as opposed to just saying she's powerful and then dumbing down our heroes to try to beat her. Like, she's actually kicking ass. Nice. Nice! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ouch! Now's your moment, come on! Time for planning is over. Live in the moment. Ha ha! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Her ex! <laughs> oh, she lost her focus. Nice. Alas, that trick only works once. Ugh, demon hand, demon hand. Ooh! Oh, yes! Time to rise! Oh my god. <laughs> what are they, the uh, tumbleweeds? <laughs> Not, oh my god, they're arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> they're literally arm wrestling! <gasps> oh, rude! Catch himself. <laughs> you Avengers know Assemble! The of my <laughs> Hit her with the loot! Nice! You only fight so much at once! Oh my goodness! Well choreographed chaos! It's another time stop! Oh! I'm so sorry. The daughter! The daughter! Kira! Kira, where are you, Kira? The creeps. <laughs> you dare interpose. Dark Wanda. Suffer. <laughs> ah, sorry, your breath just smells like... <laughs> ah, yes! Kira to the rescue! We had to distract mm -hmm. you so Kira could slap on that cuff, and so Dork could do this. <laughs> Think you got her. No. <laughs> oh. That's um Hedwig slash the Hulk. <gasps> oh, he's going to use the thing to bring her back. Yep. Yep. She's going to die and he's going to use the resurrection tablet to bring her back. Yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. I'm proud of what I did here. You should be. You're a good man. Yeah. Shut up, I'm a moron, you know that. <laughs> you can be both. You can be a good man and a moron at the same time. No fortune found. <laughs> divine. Go close to toping the trees <laughs> I feel the weight of this a lot more if I didn't know that he was gonna resurrect her. It is really sweet though. I need you. Yeah. She needs her mom, not his wife. Yeah. His wife telling him, that's what you gotta do. You gotta let go. Yeah. We can only use it once. I know. Yeah. Don't tell me you wasted it on me. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Fifty-fifty. 
Because we love you. We're your new cult. The family you choose. Well, if he comes after us, we'll be ready. Wait. Hmm? You don't like humans, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Some are okay. <laughs> so, uh, I know my last attempt to court you was quite bad. <laughs> Consider having another go at it. Yeah, all right. Yeah? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> ah! Sucks to suck. <laughs> I was wondering if we would see him again. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Lord Never Ember finally came to. <gasps> ah! Yay! <laughs> She's got a type! And while I've only served the first year of my sentence, I have to say... Oh my it god! It has been eye-opening. <laughs> Full circle! And you know, I realized a lot of it goes back to my mum. Tragic backstory. <laughs> Rejected. Yes! Not again! Jonathan! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm terribly sorry. Poor I Jonathan! They learned that lesson, but poor Jonathan! <laughs> okay, is there like an end credit scene or something? I'm so trained by Marvel to check for end credit scenes. Hello? This poor corpse! Can somebody please ask me another question? <laughs> Anyone? What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Okay. First off, just gonna talk about it as a movie and not as an adaptation, because again, I don't know too much about the adaptation, but we'll come back to that. As a movie, it was fun. Like, I give it credit. It was really fun. It was really visually spectacular. It was shot really well. The cinematography was really well done. The production value was spectacular. The CGI was flawless. I think they did a really, really great job with the visuals and everything on screen. I think they did a spectacular job. As far as the script goes, it was very funny. It was very quippy. I really enjoyed the snark and the sarcasm. Again, this is the kind of movie that gets made post-Deadpool when that sort of humor became as popular and mainstream as it is in cinema and the way that we see it in adaptations and things like that. So yes, this is definitely a post-Deadpool style film. That being said, I feel like they kind of cranked up the snark and then just stayed at that level for the entire movie. There were little individual dips in tone, but as far as pacing goes with films, you need both the ups and the downs to keep the interest because after a while, at that level, it did start to drag. It did start to feel a bit repetitive. All the quips were fun, but at the same time, it kind of took away from the gravity of the serious moments. That being said, this did not strike me as a movie that took itself too seriously and you were meant to feel heavy moments on. That being said, it did feel a little bit one note to me and it did get a little bit repetitive with the constant quest failure, quest failure, snark, quest failure, snark, quest failure, snark, quest failure, snark. It's funny the first few times, but after a while you do have to be careful with things like that. They do get repetitive, they do slog the film a little bit and just kind of make it drag. So that is something I guess would be a direct correlation to the tabletop game. From what I do understand of D&D, it is a series of, I, I know it's dice rolling and it's a series of this challenge and this challenge and this challenge. And so in that sense, it does make sense. From an adaptation perspective, that makes absolute sense. And I can see why they did that. I do feel again, it was a little bit repetitive, but I will forgive so much of that because it was fun. It genuinely was a lot of fun. There were a lot of great laughs. The characters were interesting. I think they tried to pack a lot into one movie. A lot of exposition, a lot of world building. Again, as someone who's not familiar with D&D, it was a little bit overwhelming. Just the vast number of names and places and powers and, and types of characters, it was a lot. But that being said, it didn't take away from my enjoyment of the film. I still enjoyed everything that happened. I was still able to keep up and appreciate the plot and 
the action and enjoy what was happening. It just, there were a lot of moments where I was like, okay, I feel like I'm getting hit in the face with all of this exposition, with all of this information. So I think that was a little heavy handed, but considering how much information they did have to give, as overwhelming as it felt in moments, it didn't feel clunky. It did feel organic enough in the story that I was like, okay, all right, sure. So again, I really did enjoy it. It was a fun movie. I don't know how, again, D&D players feel about this as an adaptation. I don't know how well it adapted from the game, but just from a cinematic perspective, I thought it was shot well. I thought the script was funny. I think they did really about as well as they possibly could from something like D&D that is so vast and so beloved. I genuinely enjoyed it. I really did genuinely enjoy it. Whatever complaints I may have, I did genuinely enjoy this movie. So, oh yeah, I think I asked this during the movie a little bit, but I don't know. I know that D&D is decades old. I don't know exactly when it was created. I'd have to Google that, but I do know fantasy and sci-fi, those sort of genres, they, they're very inspired by each other. Like you can see the influence of Lord of the Rings on modern fantasy. You can see the way that Star Wars has influenced so much modern sci-fi and how Star Wars was influenced by Dune. Like everything kind of feeds into each other. And so I'm really curious as to this, there were so many moments I was watching. I was like, okay, this reminds me of Marvel. This reminds me of Lord of the Rings. This reminds me of X, Y, and Z. It's just sort of a constant. And I don't know if that's a result of D&D &D influencing those things, or if this movie did that on purpose as to sort of like bring in other elements that people recognize, things from Marvel, things from Lord of the Rings, all these big franchises that people already like. The cynical side of me would say, oh, so they used all those elements and recycled them into a movie to try to get more people to enjoy it based on things that they already like. That's the cynical side of me. The other side of me is, okay, well, maybe those things were influenced by D&D. Because I don't know the tabletop game, I wouldn't be able to tell you all that much, but that is something I'm really curious about, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say, and, and I would love to have a little bit more context than I already have. Again, I wanted to go into this movie blind and just see how much I enjoyed it as someone not super familiar with D&D, but now I would like to know more of the behind the scenes, more of the specifics of what went into this as an adaptation as opposed to just a fun fantasy movie, which I think it definitely achieved. I think it was a really, really fun fantasy movie. And for someone like me, that's all I needed it to be. This was a fun two hour romp. I think it was a little bit longer than it needed to be. I, I think it definitely could have cut its runtime by a solid 20 minutes and, and that would have been just fine. But that being said, I did enjoy it. I really, really did enjoy it. So I really don't think I need to break it down much more than that. I really don't. I don't think I'm qualified to break it down much more as an adaptation. So I'm going to leave it there. That was Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. As always, please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment. Please give me more context. I love hearing your guys' stories, your guys' experiences, and just more of the information and mythology that I don't have for some of these reactions. So it's really, really helpful for me, and it makes this a much more enjoyable experience to have your guys' input. Redder is better, so hit what may or may not be a big red subscribe button depending on your browser. Check me out on Patreon for the full-length version of this reaction as well as all of my other content and Twitter and Instagram for other ways to follow. On that note, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!